Two teens from Durham are using art to raise awareness about the pandemic's impact on their community. Leo and Oliver Egger are twins. They printed 100 copies of Sunday's front page of the New York Times. That included the names of a thousand victims of coronavirus. They then glued them to the free expression tunnel at Duke University so people could see the names. People cannot be lost to history. Yeah. These people cannot be lost. They are dying right now, and we have to confront the vastness of it. You know, there's been a lot of ignoring of these numbers and not coming to terms with them by our leaders. So this is just a way for everyone to running past to really become aware of the gravity of the situation. Pretty insightful young men right there. The twins going to uh, encourage, they hope rather, this will encourage people to, as you heard, take the virus a lot more seriously in hopes of flattening the curve in Durham and across the country.